Good morning. We are going to be doing our second unboxing video in Death Valley. Why in Death Valley, you might ask? Well, we're here. The lighting's pretty good and it's really quiet. We will be unboxing the GoPro Hero 5 because my GoPro Hero 3 Plus, I don't know if you can see it, where's the lens here? Has a nasty ding on the lens. The box itself is a little crushed so the battery doesn't stay in all the time. Uh, and the refraction that this little scratch is causing is really irritating. Plus I really was dying to get the new GoPro 5. So here it is. They box this in a way that makes it very difficult to unbox. Nice little sticker here. Yeah, well, this is what we're doing with that. I'm gonna pick all this up afterwards, don't worry. Oh, and by the way, the sand dunes that I climbed yesterday and went boogie boarding down are right there. Be sure to check out that video. It was pretty, pretty fun time. Now that we've taken the box off, oh, it comes out very easily. The thing that is always a pain in the neck is getting this off the mount that it comes with. There's a little piece of plastic that says remove on the back, so you gotta remove that. I don't wanna break anything. Remove. Oh, hold on a second, let me unscrew this. There we go, there's the little piece that you gotta remove. Beautiful, okay. Oh, it's beautiful. So this is the GoPro. Beautiful, sleek design, all in one. LCD touchback screen. I didn't get this on the GoPro 4 because I thought it was going to kill the battery. It was an additional feature that can just break for no better reason. We'll see how I like it. Oh, it's got that new box smell to it. Okay, what does it turn on? I'm going to charge the battery before we leave for the day. Oh, it looks like the battery is totally dead. Okay, well, let's see how this works afterwards. In the box. I always like to keep this little plastic base That's because you can actually use it under other circumstances like tape it to a toboggan or something and use it as a, an additional cheap plastic mount. Let's go in the box. Okay, standard stuff. Cardboard, cardboard, cardboard. Uh, you see they've changed the cable so now all the cables for the GoPro 3 or 4 are not going to work. Uh, lo and behold, oh an extra battery. Okay, good. no, that might just be the only battery. And then what else? Is that it? Ooh, decals. Be sure to use those. Instructions, you break it, we'll replace it. Even if it gets run over by a car. <laughs> Instructions, okay, well, let's... Um... So this is the new all-in-one housing. Okay, it's not coming out all that easily. Okay, there, it's out. So this is an, what they call a native housing. It's all-in-one housing. Let's see if the battery's in here. How do we open this up? Ah, there's no battery in there. That's why it wasn't working. So let's put the battery in. The locals are looking at me like I'm a little weird sitting here talking to a post. Okay, let's put the battery in. Battery goes in like this. Nope, that's not how the battery goes in. Like this. That looks better. No, oh, that's not how the battery goes in. What the heck? Like this. There we go. Now the battery's in. Okay. And power on. Woo. Okay, I may have to go read the instruction books as to how this thing gets started, but hey GoPro! The voice command isn't working. Okay, well, <clears throat> that's it. Okay, so I, I picked up all my garbage. The thing that bothers me a little bit is that the battery and the cables for the old GoPro are not compatible with the new one. So they basically become garbage once the old GoPro stops working. So I hope there's a good reason for which they did this other than, you know, making you buy new cables and batteries when you want them for your new, new camera. Other than that, battery's dead so I have to go charge it. We'll see how this thing works this afternoon. Peace out. Trying to get this set up here, but it seems to be in German. And uh, ich not bin eine Berliner. Now, how do I get back to a language that I speak? Quick capture, no, kurz drucken for video, gedruckt halten für Zeitwort Fotos. No, no, not making any sense to me yet. How do I turn this off? Oh, son of a gun, really, how do I do this?
Okay, maybe I'm just gonna take the battery out and start this again. Let's try it again. Low battery, good. That language I understand. Bienvenido, welcome, Bien okay, good, good. The date, what's the date today? November 30th. Who said that? Okay, so we're setting the date. What's the time? Well, we'll set it in Montreal time because that's where we're gonna be soon enough. GPS captures the location where your videos were taken off. You can turn on GPS preferences. Thanks, but I don't need that much government surveillance in my life. Camera tour, start. Short press powers on, long press powers off. Good. Switches between video and photos mode. That's a good thing for the mode button to do. Adds highlight tags while recording. Don't care for that, but thank you for the function. Shutter button, captures videos and photos. Good. When your GoPro is off shutter, press shutter to power on and start recording automatically. Cool. Short press for video, long press for time lapse photos. Cool. Modes. I think we want resolution, we want the highest res and the highest frames per second. Use your phone as a remote. Use your phone as a remote, no thank you. Playback and share. Uh, okay, when I have time. Automatic edits make, automatic edits make awesome. Okay, next. It's a little complicated. I really just want something to capture video and high quality photo and video. When GoPro Plus, with GoPro Plus, your Hero 5 can auto upload your photos. Yeah, that's exactly what I want. Auto upload my photos to the cloud for easy. <laughs> Not before I choose what goes up. Next. What does it do for fingers that are fat like this? This is not exactly like chopstick precision here. I think the battery just went dead. Okay, we're charging it. Ah! Oh, gone! <laughs>